Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's really cool video. You're talking about uh, American icons. Uh, most people see this car know immediately what it is. Even if you don't love cars, you can't help but uh, uh, when you see one of these rolling down the road, smiling, go, man, that is one cool, cool car. And what makes these even better sometimes is you can somehow get it to uh, become a beach car or someplace where some people can join you for a weekend because this car carries six so comfortably. And on top of it, it's very luxurious. And uh, you talk about power and things like that. So I thought we'd take some time, walk around, uh, I have uh, uh, a lot of receipts with this car, and it was uh, partially restored. We finished it up. Uh, the client that sold us those claims that he had uh, $10,000 tied up just in the body and paint on this car. The body and paint on this car is really nice, so uh, I'm not sure if it's 10 or not. Just uh, I'm going by what he said, but I do want to show you this. Come on up and check this out. Uh, this is really spectacular paint. It's got a great name to it. It's Brittany Blue, and this is actually how the car rolled off the assembly line. So you get the Brittany Blue paint. Um, with the white interior, okay? And I'm thinking uh, that we should probably add a white pinstripe to this car, and I think it would set it off and just finish the whole thing up really, really nice. So these uh, white walls here with the stainless caps, they're color matched painted wheel covers, and I think that uh, that's part of that whole El Dorado look uh, that really keeps everything going nicely. So you got great stainless trim. This is a custom made grill. This grill right here, uh, he claims was around $3,000. When I open the hood, you'll see there's so much craftsmanship and work making each individual blade polishing each individual blade, welding it all up, and what have you, and it uh, really just sets the car off completely. It looks uh, uh, beautiful, especially uh, once we take that uh, hood up and show you what it looks like in there. So uh, let's walk around a little bit more if we could and keep on rolling here. Now this on the 72 gives you some pretty cool stuff, like these vents here. That's a cool piece of styling on this car. Like, check that out. That looks really, really nice. Still gives you that, that uh, looks like I'm going fast, even if I'm uh, sitting here, all right? Still got a little bit of the fins from the 60s and 50s of uh, the Eldorados. And then come back here and check out this styling here. This was a neat piece that they put into the car and how they molded in, you know, not many manufacturers had molded in a trunk like this. Keep in mind, this is the trunk all the way here. Most trunks came down and that's it. Cadillac was kind of like the first to really mold all of this in, make it work with the bumper, okay? And finish it up like that with some great chrome trim. Great taillights on here. Look how thin they are paper thin right here, but they show on the inside, which is pretty cool. All right. Okay. Let's uh, check under the hood because you know what? Part of the allure of these cars is what motivated them power wise. And let's check that out. All right. Check this out. This is really nicely detailed too. This engine here, 500 cubic inch American V8. And most people don't know that these cars are front wheel drive. So they have a front wheel drive transmission. The engine is sitting over the driving wheels. So actually in the bad weather, they were really, really good because the driving wheels have all this extra weight over them and help pull you through any bad weather you might have. Power disc brakes, uh, power steering, air conditioning. Okay. And plenty of room in here. Uh, Justin, if you could come around, I just want to kind of show you a little bit of the room that you have to work on this car. And everything in here is stock from the exhaust manifolds, uh, to the air conditioning compressor. Everything is just like just the way it kind of rolled off the showroom floor. It's got the right decals in place and uh, good new hood insulation. Part of the restoration process. I want to talk a little more about this grill here. Come here and check this out. Each individual blade is stainless and polished and then uh, riveted in place. And then this is all uh, ground down and riveted. This is all polished and chromed. Uh, chromed, polished, chrome, polished. Uh, and just really tastefully done. I mean, it just looked great on the front of this car. It was very expensive, and you can tell from the, from the craftsmanship that uh, it took some time to make it. All right, let's check out the trunk. Okay, this is always a good sign. Anytime you find a car that uh, came with a car cover, you know that uh, this was first off garage cap. Secondly, not only was it garage kept, it was kept under a cover too. So uh, obviously they, uh, they care very much about this vehicle. Now the trunk is nicely detailed too. You got the original Cadillac mat in here. Uh, the carpeting has all been redone in here. The convertible top is new. The convertible top well is new. Still got the jacking instructions in here, circa 1972. It's all painted and detailed under here. It's just a really a nice looking trunk. I know that I'm getting excited about a trunk, but they just did a nice job because they covered it everywhere. You know, it's all throughout here. It's that great kind of uh, felt uh, trunk liner. Okay, let's check out the inside for a minute. 
You know, this car is originally coded as a uh, white interior car, uh, which is kind of cool. The blue with the white is just beautiful. And I want to uh, show you the top, too. All right, so as part of the luxury of here is what you're getting, as well as the style, too. You know, they did a great job with both. So you get, uh, you get your tilt steering column. This also has a telescopic steering column. So you can adjust that in there. This has uh, power windows, has cruise control, it has climate control, has a power convertible top, um, it has power seats, power locks, power windows, we talked about. It goes on and on. So you're really getting a car with a lot, a lot of features in it. And uh, um, you know, you throw in the fact that you do have great style, you do have great colors and things like that. And it turns out this is really, really a cool car. You know, these are the window stickers that we put on the fronts of the car so you can kind of see um, uh, what the car has on it if you ever come here. If you ever want us to send you one of these, we're happy to do that for you too, okay? The one thing I wanted to point out too was I loved this uh, cloth blue top. It looks just as good up as it does down uh, with that, that blue paint. So, I don't know, just the little touches like that really make these cars with the white interior really, really pop. One of the things I wanted to do for you, I wanted to start it up because you know what? All of these look like big cars and they are kind of big cars. Uh, they have great power. You know, this is 500 cubic inches. It makes a lot of horsepower and more importantly, it makes a lot of torque. And uh, this one here has got a nice little growl. It's got a great sounding uh, exhaust system to it. So check it out. In closing up the video on this car here, we're talking of one of only 7,975 cars built that year. I mean, Cadillac probably built a few hundred thousand cars that year, uh, so they did not build a lot of these because these were very expensive. In fact, I believe they were the most expensive American car at their time. Uh, and you can clearly see why. They had great style, they had great power, they had an incredible amount of luxury inside from the leather seating to the power, everything, seats, windows, locks, all that good stuff. This one here in the Brittany blue with the white interior, uh, the climate control, air conditioning, just I don't know, just a really, really cool car. And I think that uh, if you wanted something that, that continues to appreciate in value, these keep going up year after year. And I think, uh, I think that uh, you'd really enjoy having some fun in this car. Cause it just, uh, it's one of those cars you could take to dinner, you know, and this is the car they're gonna park out front. They're gonna move the guy's Porsche, or maybe you own a Porsche too, but they're gonna move your Porsche out of the way. And they're gonna park this car out front. And everybody who walks out of the restaurant is gonna go, wow. That's one good looking car. Call us at 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about the 72 Eldorado Convertible.